Right now, we want to dig into the collapse of SVB and the super busy weekend for regulators. Steve Leisman joins us with more on how this all played out. How about reporters? Days. Super busy weekend for reporters, it, too. Don't absolutely. we get any? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> coast to coast. Uh, it was a weekend that reminded a lot of folks of the troubling times, the tumultuous times of the great financial crisis. Regulators scrambling to shore up a fragile banking system, taking several historic steps to avoid a banking crisis. Investors asked themselves this morning, did they succeed? The failure Friday of Silicon Valley Bank, it was the second largest failure in U.S. history, what some call the first bank run of the digital age because the concern was created by tweets. It created the risk of a broader run on small and regional banks throughout the country, and that companies with their money in SVB wouldn't be able to operate or make payroll this morning. Looks like now none of that's going to happen. With a caveat, Andrew, a source of mine telling me it's not always that smooth. The right. transference of a deposit. So you, you may thought you transferred money Friday. It may not necessarily be available to you today or even right. those. Is the system the, gummed up? Because uh, there, there were some things that made me think that a little bit. It's going to take longer than usual to sort I, it of may, it, stuff. I don't know about your account at, at, at a bank, but, but those who are, it would, there's a new owner out there, right? It's in receivership. So right. I'm not sure how that works. So here's what officials did they guaranteed deposit SVB, they shut down Signature Bank. Also, as uh, uh, Becky said earlier, there's uh, new financing at First Republic. You, you can be sure uh, regulators made that happen. They guaranteed all uninsured deposits, folks. They, if you're uninsured in a bank, you're guaranteed, at least for a period of time here. And they created a new Federal Reserve Fund that will finance bank assets. They ease lending rules at the emergency discount window to make it uh, less expensive to borrow there. Officials said they took these actions to avert a situation where uninsured depositors would pull their money from essentially healthy banks and the nation's deposits ended up only in big banks. They insisted the banking system is strong and well capitalized. Do not appear to be major problems with those assets, especially of the treasuries and the mortgage-backed securities. And by the way, not a lot of default risk out there right now in, in private loans. The main problem is rates are up, bond purchase, bond prices are down. That creates large unrealized losses for banks, but little default risk in those specific assets. Another major issue, how the Fed, how Fed policy is affected here. Look at what's happened. This is dramatic. A 54% probability right now that the Fed does nothing. Um, sorry, is that is that one right? Let me. Uh, we're we're, put, we're scrambling to put stuff together here this morning. So let me just. I want to double check that. Yeah, no, that is right. It, it changed before, while, well, while we were in the two that minutes way. that yeah. I was up there. So that is correct, guys. That is the correct chart. A 48% probability of no hike. It had been 54 a couple minutes ago. So uh, just, just the, the key here is there was no probability of no hike before all this.